talking about, but as the character itself, put him on a pedestal and tried to lock him into place in a way that he wasn't allowed to grow or evolve or change or let his guard down. Or, you know, that's been one of the big things I've seen of just like, he would have never trusted the Abby's people. He never would have done this. He never would have said that. Right. Like he's been living the good life for four years in a community trying to, you know, be a normal person. Is that fair? I swear. I couldn't sit here and watch a bunch of egomaniac pieces of garbage. <clears throat> Try to justify the shitty writing, the shitty story that the last of us two have, and you have the egotist do <laughs> Nell Cuckman. You know, of course, I don't, I don't, this guy should be fired immediately. I this, like, this guy is too egotistic going around flagging and taking down his niggas' channels that's criticizing this shitty ass fucking game. But, like I said, look at the response. Like, this whole fucking interview, I couldn't make it do 30 minutes of this fucking shit, okay? The whole fucking interview would be giving garbage ass excuses and trash reason on why he killed Joe or this and that and that like it's a bunch of shitty fucking writing from this piece of shit it's it's, it's shitty explanations you know he's like <laughs> like <laughs> like just look at the response he give to why why oh oh joe will automatically trust strangers you know what i'm saying just listen to this fucking shit bro it's fucking hilarious that's the thing that's hard with making a sequel is like with the first game, there's no expectations. People don't know Joel and Ellie. Yeah, you Nimrod, Cuck. Of obviously, we didn't know who that was in the first game, but we got to know who that was. We got to know their background. We got to know this. We got to know that. We got to get attached to them like we was attached to them because they are the main characters and to be the main focus of the fucking game. We learned for 24 fucking years how long Joel has been surviving this fucking shit. Even in part two, we've been surviving this shit for like 20 some fucking years, right? And we, ha we all know how fucking Joel was, right? To never trust anybody that he was would never let anybody fucking live they just gonna fucking be a danger to him or Ellie, etc this dude will survive for 24 years he was a 24 year veteran when it comes to surviving this fucking apocalypse but he'll automatically be dumb as fuck when it comes to last of us two and trust a bunch of straights that wanna or like this fucking abby fucking jargon von strangle bitch gonna come out of fucking nowhere and fucking say oh my god come to my mansion with my boys and that you know this and that oh he's, okay just we just gonna go we're just gonna go on our fucking horses to this fucking mansion and and we're not gonna Gonna expect these guys <laughs> like <laughs> I'm just I'm just I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep on going. I'm just gonna let them keep on going. Um and now they some people think they know them better than we know them, right? Oh no no here go that fucking ego starting to come out from this piece of shit. No, they think they know the characters better than we know the characters. Here we go trying to justify terrible shitty writing. Hey, don't fuck. You know what we learned from the first character, like I just explained, we learned how Joe is, we learned how Eddie them is. Stop trying to justify this shitty writing in part two and trying to fucking justify uh, Joel and Tommy look being dumbfounded when it comes to strangers. You know, you know, like he, he also he gave his excuse in, in this video saying that oh uh, they thought that Abby was just you know on like the same he the same age he's the same age as Ellie and that they, they they're not uh, fire they, they probably didn't think they was fireflies or they was regular people. Okay, no matter they're strangers. Why the fuck would they trust strangers? Everybody know Joel didn't trust strangers in general. So why the fuck would he automatically over the span of four years so on trusting fucking strangers? We'll get that do your fucking head. It doesn't matter if he thought those was fireflies or fucking not, you dumbass fuck. They was fucking strangers that he did not fucking know. So why the fuck would he automatically say, oh my god, I'm just gonna trust these motherfuckers. I'm not gonna think they're gonna fucking harm me. I'm not gonna think that people are looking for me undercover. I'm just gonna go and follow this manly bitch to the to this fuck to that fucking lookout and <laughs> and don't expect to get bodies from it. Like, dude, shut the fuck up, bro. Like, you get this egotistic from this from this cast and from this piece of shit that shouldn't be uh, the, the head of Naughty Dog. You know, this guy's a fuck. This guy fucking sucks. Fuck Neil Cuckman, bro. You know, with your fan of getting fucked in the ass by Jorgen von Strangles and fucking bitches with strap-ons. I think that's starting to fucking ruin your fucking brain and sizzle that motherfucker. You feel me? Um, better than Troy knows them or Ashley knows them. And, and, and people surprise us, right? People change, people evolve, people all the time. So it's like when did the... So Joe was gonna evolve to be completely fucking retarded when he'd been surviving the apocalypse for 20 some four fucking years, right? 20 some fucking years of being an expert surviving this shit. Knows all the dangers and knows what, what's the do's and not the do's. But he's gonna automatically start trusting strangers and shit. You wanna call that fucking evolving? That's fucking devolving. What the fuck? <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. How the fuck is that evolving? <laughs> well, evolve to, to, into a pure fucking idiot? What? Joel that you see in the beginning of Last of Us Part Two. I mean, after the opening guitar scene, it's like that's four years of having lived in this community that's safe. Four years of like, they meet people on the outside all the time and they bring them in. We have all these notes and stuff that um, they trust them 
I want to just address the criticism because I've seen a lot of like, how come Joel and Tommy trust these people? And it's like, it's not an ambush. They're not walking into an ambush. And actually, Troy and I had a lot of conversations about how do they size them up? And actually, they, they don't want to stay there. They want to lead them back to Jackson because Jackson is, is safe. Yeah. Uh, and actually, what Joel is doing there is like he's sizing everybody up except for Abby because he believes that this girl that he just saved that's the same age as Ellie is safe. Note the self guide. It doesn't matter if you're a complete stranger, age of not. You you can always give people a pass. Doesn't matter if they're the same age of somebody. Just give them a pass. Just just complete follow strangers into a random building that you never know who you, you don't even know who these motherfuckers are, right? These motherfuckers can, can be fucking guys that can fucking cut off your ball sack and put them in fucking glass bottles and shit. Oh, but we're just gonna go and trust people. So for no, just because Ellie's the same age as somebody, uh, uh oh, just trust them. You know, just just completely throw any survival instincts out the window and just start trusting strangers y'all that they'll drop said himself note to self right that that's not that wouldn't be the threat the threat wouldn't come from there so that's what catches him off guard uh but also again it's 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 the fact that these guys are not hunters like joel's looking for hunters these are regular people um just like the people that live in jackson and, and joel has become a regular person that lives in jackson as well so i guess becoming a regular person you become a complete utter retard and uh, utter moron. So I guess that's what you're trying to say. So just because they're living in captivity with a bunch of other people, they're supposed to just automatically just throw any survival instincts out the window and start trusting complete fucking strangers just because they're not, they not, they not looking for them. They're looking for hunters. Like, are you fucking serious? This is the most dumb shit I ever had to listen to in my fucking life. This is the fucking surviving. This is the fucking apocalypse, nigga. So you're just gonna just trust anybody just because they're not hunters? How you know they're not hunters or not? And you don't know. You can't. You can't always read people of how they are. They. You, you obviously can tell they was fucking hunters. They was looking for Joel, right? You know. So we're just gonna no matter what, just because they're hunters, we're just gonna trust complete strangers and still follow them because um, they're not hunters. Are you like? <laughs> <laughs> trying to justify justify shitty writing and shitty character development it's just like you do any development that joel had from the first game in ellie and do that shit in a fucking trans compacto you're trying to you're trying you're trying to justify shitty writing it makes no fucking sense bro so i guess evolution is, is becoming completely dumbfounded there's that, that no drunk with. i see a lot of people talking about um respecting the character uh also it's like they're trying to say somehow this says joel is a villain or a hero and i see people arguing like based on how he lived his life does he deserve this kind of death and it's like it doesn't matter the point is in this world it's like whether you're a hero or a villain it doesn't matter that doesn't dictate how you die so killing off a truly beloved character from the first game that people bought the game to play f for him and ellie it's, it's, it's so that just that just so that doesn't matter how somebody a main character of a franchise dies that's not important to you so you don't think that affects the game you don't think that affects your fan base with the how the way you killed the guy so you want to talk about respect and you know, oh no wait respect the kills more than us oh yeah when you had many spin on you you fucking spit it on him right after after fucking abby this fucking tranny hawk bitch <laughs> beat his fucking head in, and turned his brains to mush with a golf club he spit on him, so that's really respecting the character. You're trying to justify a shitty death. You're trying to justify a shitty way of why this guy even died in the first place because you're trying to add uh, the reason why Abby is mad because um, Joel killed an irrelevant fucking doctor from the first game that nobody fucking batted an eye for. Like, and like I said, in the, in, the, in the clickbait from the trailer making it seem like we're going to be playing as Joel, it's going to be about Joel and Ellie still, but no, we only get two hours of play time or one hour of screen time with Joel, and, and, and the only time we get to see him is when he's getting embodied by a fucking tranny hawk bitch with a cock and and, and the fucking jargon von strago arms so like get the fuck out of here for real no 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 the issue is you was fucking sipping for a tr for a feminist bitch named anita that, that that you let influence this fucking game and when you let influence you let this a tranny hawk godzilla looking bitch come in the fucking mix she came from the fucking heavens and shit and it's and you're gonna just implement this bitch in the game and then we're supposed to give a fuck about her with this shitty ass sob story you give us and not only that you want to talk about him being a heel a villain doesn't fucking matter
Uh, yeah, you're trying to say that, okay, uh, it don't matter if, if we're trying to dictate him as a heel of the villain, we're just going to kill off a, a love, a beloved character, a main character that's very crucial to the to the game. Since they've been crucial to the, they've been crucial to the fucking video game since the first game. So we just don't give a fuck. We're just going to, we're just going to uh, have him die for a retarded reason that makes no fucking sense whatsoever. Bring this fucking Godzilla looking bitch in that we don't know who the fuck she is. She she didn't play no part in the first game, but no, we all supposed to care about her. Then it, it, it supposed to think that we supposed to be okay to with the way the, this man died. Like get the fuck out of here, bro. Get the fuck out of here with this shitty ass excuse. We know you get you. We know you like getting fucked in your ass, cap. We know you got getting drilled in your fucking ass, bro. But come on, bro. Save the fucking excuses. This this admit that your game fucking sucks. This admit this admit that it's shitty writing. This admit that you fucked up. Just admit it, cuck, man. You fucked up. How you exit this world? And what this story needed is a brutal, cruel death. Yeah, y'all. What the game needed was a brutal, cruel shock fight. Uh, one uh, wanted wanted to generate trans shock volume, even though he the, the, the shock volume was implemented terribly. Oh yeah, we wanted a very gruesome death of a main lovable character from the first game. We're just gonna just kill him off like he ain't shit, like he's a damn sad character, you know. But yeah, we, we wanted a a brutal and cruel death that made no that made no fucking sense. That had no input to the first game or to this fucking game. And, <laughs> and we're just gonna call it shock volume. Right, this basically say you, you did it for shock value. This said you did it for shock, shock value, bro. And just admit it, you did you did it for shock value. Oh, we just wanted, to, we just, we just, we don't, we, 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 we ain't think about what's the, what's the backlash gonna be when we cut off a beloved main character from the first game. We're just gonna do it in a way because I'm a fucking dumbass. That's basically what it is. I'm gonna just do it anyway because I'm a fucking retard. My brain don't fucking work right. I got too much fucking to need a cuck on my fucking ass. You feel me? So yeah, I can't fucking think straight. You know what I'm saying? I'm a fucking dumbass. For everything that happens afterwards. Sure. Kind of funny games, just like you can, it says. Ellie seems to have a similar situation happen to her in this game as Joel did during the first game. Helplessly as Joel is murdered as in the same way Joel watched his daughter die. How hard was it for all of you to act that out? And Neil, how hard was it to direct? Um, that was that was my least favorite day <laughs> on the job. But also, it was everything was um, working up to that moment. And I can't remember. I feel like that was kind of in the middle of the shoot. I don't know where it landed, but I was I was dreading it because you know to jump off of what Troy was saying, I think. I I know people love these characters and that's what makes this experience and and everything here so special but they know everybody loved the characters but no we're just gonna have some random tranny hawk bitch come in the mix and bash one of the main characters into the fucking head with a fucking golf club yeah yeah y'all thought about that one fucking dumbasses I assure you that no one is more protective of these characters than the three of us. And it's a, there were a lot of, 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 that was a tough day. It was a tough day because it felt like so much more than just doing an emotional scene. And all right, I had enough of these fucking frosts. That's all y'all said. So Joe explained why the fuck they killed that, that why, why Joe became mentally fucking retarded. Uh, he explained the death and all that shit. So yeah, clap it up. Yeah, y'all, yeah, y'all, y'all brought it. Yeah, y'all definitely brought it in the studios. Yeah, y'all brought one of the worst franchise, uh, worst sequels to to any fucking game in history. And also y'all brought one of the most disgusting sex scenes and sex scenes in games history. So yeah, you guys did have an achievement. Congratulations. I'm I'm tired of hearing these fucking clowns. Shut the fuck up. Stop. Uh, stop with this. Excuses. The game fucking sucks. Y'all fucked up. Fuck naughty dog. Fuck Nell Cuck, man. Just, 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 just give it. Stop giving excuses. The game fucking sucks. The bitch could barely explain, uh, trying to explain why they love the characters. Oh my god, we love the characters. Bitch stuttering and shit. Bitch, shut up. Like, <laughs> I don't know why you trying to hit at, okay? 
So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, man. If you all did, make sure to like and subscribe. Oh yeah, man. <laughs> Nail yeah, they we love the characters, but we're gonna fuck kill somebody with a golf club and have to the bitch move ass right at the end when Ellie go all her way to, to body all these motherfuckers. At the end she let the bitch go. Yay. That's good writing. No revenge is bad, guys. That's bad. Like shut the fuck up. I'm out.